All right, what's going on everybody? Right now we're talking about how perception filters reality for us. So we all have a precept, a sense of perception, a way that we perceive the world from our relative position within the space and time continuum. And this relative position, this perception was developed and given to you by the environment which you were surrounded by which automatically you was receiving certain information from your environment, whether it be negative information, whether it be positive information that contributed to your overall perception of reality, what's possible and what's impossible for you based on what you know, people in your environment fed you and the things that you've seen growing up. Because this is why traveling is so important because the more cultures, the more religions, AKA Sagittarius, ninth house, ninth house energy, going the distance and stuff like that, the more we kind of understand that our world is kind of small, we start to understand that, hey, there's not only Christians in the world, there's Muslims in the world, not only Muslims in the world, there's also Hindus in the world. So this is part of us expanding our perception and things like that. See, we're supposed to expand our perception. We're not supposed to just stay contracted in a, per, in a perception, especially that contraction in that perception is causing us to live a negative lifestyle, it's causing us to adopt self-destructive behaviors, it's causing us to be things, aka states of being, because you are a human being. You have to understand what are you being from second to second, from minute to minute, from hour to hour, and you have to take control of that state of being via addressing the repeated negative thought feeling that you keep re-experiencing, you keep re-conjuring up, we keep bringing it up. See, our perception is just our, it's just a mental net. Think of it as a fishnet, right? Certain things pass through this, this fishnet, certain things don't pass through this fishnet, but it's all, and just like that, your mind is the same thing. It's all based upon your perception. So information in reality is just information in reality. Reality is just what it is anyways. But from our level of perception, we perceive information in a particular way and based on the information that has been emo emotionally and intensely fed into our subconscious mind. A lot of the times that's the information that we're consciously going to filter out into reality and stuff like that because that's what have been subconsciously fed so now what we want to be able to do in the future or preferably now which would even be better because i like to change my life and i want to see other people's lives change as well right so we have to be able to identify is our perception negative is our perception positive and you you can all you got to do is look at your life right now and ask yourself damn you know what am i where i where i want to be am i am, am, am i where i want to be you got to be honest with yourself, right? You got to be honest with yourself. Some honesty is a very difficult thing. A lot of the times, you know, including me, we, I like to blame problems outside of me. I'd like say, now, nah, you know what? It's not my fault. That's that person's fault. That's the cat, the dog next the ne next door, man. Yeah, that's the doctor's fault, man. That's the prime minister's fault. That's the president's fault. But it ain't my fault, dog. I ain't do nothing. I'm just, I'm just an uprighteous citizen, brother. Praise Jesus. <laughs> See? Sometimes our perception can be fucking up our life, and we just think we have to filter reality through that lens, through that binocular. But see, the moment you switch to a different set of binoculars, the moment you switch to a different lens, and you're looking at life differently, meaning that you are starting to see opportunities open up for you that were actually available for you this whole time, but just due to our perception, we get entangled in this spider web like a fly or like a butterfly and we don't know how to undo this spider web so we can start to spread our wings again and start to actually fly and experience flight right because a lot of spirits like to stay in the womb literally not just you know hey staying in your mama's womb but a lot of spirits get born into the world and stay in the mental womb unable to expand beyond those parameters that were thought to them see a man thought you that you have to go to church on Sunday. A man thought you that you have to pray five times a day if you're a Muslim. All these things. Like a woman could have thought you that, you know, hey, you need to put the whole head of the pig inside of the stove with the body when you're cooking. But you might want to examine that belief that was passed down to you because you could ask yourself first, okay, 
is the head just a part of the look or am I actually going to eat the head of the pig? See, if you're not going to eat the head of the pig, then maybe you want to reassess the belief that you need to put the whole head of the pig inside of the stove and roast it all together. Maybe you just want to cut it up and put it in there. But the point is we are operating in the assumption and in the perception that reality is as we see and feel it and think it to be. While in contrary reality, <clears throat> contrary to that belief, reality is very ma malleable. It's very, uh, you know, it's constantly morphing. We are in a slow moving illusion. This is reality. Reality is a slow moving illusion. See that tree behind me? That tree, the, 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 the fucking leaves, oh, they fell. Because it's fucking fall now and it's almost winter. Well, it's winter now, actually, over here. But you see what I'm saying? So the tree in summertime, it, it had fruits. It had uh, leaves everywhere, man. That tree was booming. Shit, I was sitting under that tree just last summer. But this winter, goddammit, the tree just had to let go. See, we think things are always going to be there for us just as they are. But see, life is a slow-moving illusion, meaning things are always engaging in the process of regeneration and degeneration right because for you to create a new group of cells you have to get rid of a new, uh, another group of cells and stuff like that when i move my whole arm like this it's like a bunch of cells died and and bunch of cells just got replaced and things of that nature see a lot of the times we think that we're stuck with our perception we're stuck with these lenses a lot of the times we think that we're stuck with our subconscious way of viewing the world but the truth is we're not stuck with these things and these things are just deeply programmed deeply ingrained within our within our subconscious and when you just analyze the conscious thoughts that are bubbling up from that well and how you react to things and stuff like that and how you act in your environment meaning like you shouldn't be reacting like a fucking peasant like a beggar you should be walking in the grocery store you know you should pretend like you own that fucking shit it, it, no it doesn't matter if you own it or not what matters is the instructions you're giving your brain right Ask your brain, you know, brain, how would I feel if I own this entire grocery chain? You'd feel pretty fucking good because you'd have a lot of money in your pocket. Your family would be in position of positions of influence, positions of power, and stuff like that. See, that's the feeling that we want to carry with us, a feeling of, of a sense of power, a feeling that we can impact our lives, a feeling that we can change our lives. A lot of people don't even have that feeling. A lot of people don't even think they can change their lives. A lot of people think they have to stay still and continue to experience the same circumstances that their forefathers have experienced and they need to experience it as well because this is just our family see we make up all types of logical reasons to convince ourselves with our left brain to convince our right brain that hey this is just reality because our left brain really just managing our right brain chakras and stuff like that you know a lot of thoughts and feelings come out of the dark a lot of things appear out of nowhere but they didn't really appear out of nowhere they appeared from a memory from an emotion from an emotional state that is deeply ingrained in the membranes of our cells that is you know slowly excreting consecrating fluids that are negative for our perception so for example when you get stressed out at work because you didn't do something right you know how that stress feel you know how that shit feel now what if you felt like that your whole childhood now that shit has become a part of your fucking life that means that means stress to you is normal now it could be anything you could people might have not even liked you growing up People might have just thought like you know you wasn't acting you wasn't moving in the aspects or the dynamics that the family is in is ingrained too and you might be moving differently and that might cause you to be a a spotlight for others and people might look at you like yeah you know we don't like you we just you're just different we just don't like you so what if you develop a deep sense of not liking yourself and hating yourself and now you have this deep perception this deep sense in yourself that hey I hate myself, I don't like myself, and I want to continue to do things that show me I don't like myself. So, and people literally live their whole lives like that. That was me, too. Real shit. So it's like, we got to be able, and I know it's possible because I've done it for myself. I've modified my brain and stuff like that. I've modified the foods I was experiencing. And I'm still on that process. I'm still on that journey. But see, I've realized that the only reason people don't change I'm really just self-reflecting, right? I realize the only reason people don't change is because they don't want to change. Meaning that whatever perception you have that's producing the lifestyle that you are living right now, yeah, you like that. You like that. That's, that's, the, that's the crazy part. People like struggle. People like hating on themselves. People like 
being a good dog and showing up when the boss tells them to do our work. People like these things. These things make them feel good. Because, you see, our perception is so fucked up, we do things that are self-destructive, that are against the benefit of ourselves, that even animals looking at us would be like, what the fuck is wrong with you niggas? If they had that capacity of thinking and feeling to process that information and stuff like that, even animals would look at humans like, something is wrong with humanity. Humanity don't make sense and shit like that. Right, so we have to keep in mind that we are all perceiving our reality because of a the, of a sense, a perception that we may have developed from our childhood. Now, I pray and hope to God that your parents was fucking smart to instill in you a feeling of wealth, a feeling of health, a feeling of peace, just a feeling of wealth and abundance. I pray to I I, I, I wish I'm hoping and I don't fucking pray, but you know. Yeah, yeah, because it's so important that we plant good seeds in the minds of our children so they grow up with a sense of self that they too can affect the world, that they too have power, not grow up in a way where all your power got taken taken from you. Your mind was naked, and it's like, it's just it's just horrible seeing this happen to like young minds and stuff like that, minds that can actually f- uh, fruition into potential and stuff like that. But see, the Jews... It's like they got the game sold up. I see. It's, it's, it's like I hate even. I don't want. I don't want to blame nobody for this shit. But it's like certain individuals, like the shadow government. It's like they have solutions for problems, but either they're not sharing those solutions for their problems, for real problems with us. Or they're just keeping that shit amongst their families, uh, you know, you know, through their clinics or whatever the fuck it is, or they just genuinely don't have any solutions for problems. So they gotta create, you know, more problems to kind of hide the solution or just. Some shit like that. But that's just the shadow governments, how they move. Um, this is the fight between the developing mind of man through the regeneration of the spirit to develop and renew our minds so we can actually begin to be warriors of God so that we can defeat the demons within that are embedded within our sense of perception so we can begin to defeat the demon outside of us and the devils outside of us and believe me when you beat your internal demons when you change your perception when you go from a perception of i'm helpless i'm weak to a nigga i'll whoop your fucking ass type shit yeah life's gonna be very different because there's gonna be very few people that are that are willing to mess with you to be very few people that are people are gonna sense that you have a different that you change the sense that you have of yourself and they're going to react and act around you differently because now you're no longer walking around like you're a fucking beggar, like you're a fucking peasant. Now, I don't know what people's perceptions are. I just know these are the lenses that my family members had it to me accidentally that I had to learn to modify for myself in the past, uh, in the future, because if I don't modify it, I will continue to live the life of my mother and father unknowingly, uh, you know, without being able to inter- interject and edit that sequence of thoughts and feelings so it continued to reproduce the same results that my mother did the same results that my dad did that's not good or bad it's just when the with the next generation we always want to improve the standard of thinking and feeling and the conditions in our environment so we can actually produce better minds better thinking and feeling people because if your thoughts and feelings your whole life have been fucked up and you thought that shit was normal i'm here to tell you bro that shit's not normal you're here to be wealthy, you're here to be healthy, you're here to be wise, and most importantly of all, you're here to be in a fucking great relationship with your fucking self. Because if you don't got a good relationship with yourself, but instead you got a fucking relationship with Jesus Christ, bro, you're fucked up in the head. Because you think that a disembodied mind, an imaginary dude, is going to come down in the helicopter, and that dude is actually just going to come save you and drop $20 million on your lap. And that's going to be it. Like, that's how delusional the religious community is. They think someone outside, man, I got my mom and dad right now praying next door, thinking that Allah is going to pay the fucking bills. Nigga, I pay the fucking bills type shit. So it's like this delusion of, of, of powerlessness, this delusion of the lack of ability to change your reality is not only affecting you, it's also affecting the people around you because when you render yourself incapable, other people around you render themselves incapable. So what if every man, what if every woman, what if every child on earth rendered themselves 
capable, the planet will automatically be healed because we will all look at each other like we are all individual expressions of God. We all have our own mission. And we are all capable. We are all able. Instead of telling ourselves the story about how we're incapable, how we're unable, how we can't do nothing. I don't see the mind does not care what you feed it. You can tell your mind whatever the fuck you want to tell it. Man, you can tell your mind right now, man, I'm a black man from fucking Ontario. And black men in Ontario don't have opportunities to be entertainers or politicians or whatever the fuck you're aiming for. You could tell yourself that shit right now. On top of that, you can get emotional about it. You could be like, <laughs> brother praise jesus man life is not fair man man the, the dog is man the dog is biting my ass man my wife don't like me man my kids hate me <laughs> man i'm telling you bro life is not real this is a this is a fucking circus this is a fucking theater take advantage of this theater someone else just chose to present to you their their mental actors through their fucking theaters through their characters characteristics and attributes and they're just telling you I'm a punk, so you should be a punk too, right? Now, you have a decision. You can either say yes or no. You can interject at that moment consciously and decide, nah, motherfucker, I'm the shit. Because if you're not walking around, if you're not cocky, you're not, you're not confident, you're not borderline fucking arrogant, because it's both the same fucking shit. People that can't be confident will call you fucking arrogant and fucking ignorant and fucking cocky because they don't have the fucking cojones to be confident themselves. So niggas is scared of being the shit, simply. So I'm hoping that you have the fucking cojones to be an individual fucking expression of God on earth. Real shit.